Hello, Balmy Badger Army. Welcome hey, Badger to the Army. show. Thank you, everyone, for 1,500 subscribers. Big shout out to everyone that joined me for the Overwatch special, and a big shout out to Nick for joining me on these vlogs. Thank you very much, buddy. Oh, you're welcome. Indeed. Today, we are going to be following on from the Jelly Beans video that I did by myself the other day, and we are going to be doing a trick or treat Jelly Beans with Nick. Uh, we're going to be reviewing Kong Sugar Free. And we're also going to be reviewing a top that I picked up yesterday from Asda with the Punisher. So, and we're going to talk about Roman Reigns' sad news about relinquishing the Universal title. Yes, so indeed. In Before land. we go any further, that's not how you spell Reigns on that list, but never mind. Ah! It's going to okay, drive mad. Can't see it. Indeed. Okay, um, so let's open up the show with, uh, I think, the Punisher top review. Now... I'm a big fan of comic books in general and, of course, The Punisher. And it's been a long time since I've picked up anything like this. It's been great to actually manage to uh, be able to pick up a bit of comic book merch. It's been a long time. Uh, the last comic books I bought was a long time ago. So this is a nice treat for me, you know. It's really good stuff. And uh, I remember The Punisher mainly from the Amazing Spider-Man cartoon early in the 90s when he fought against... Morbius and Man Spider. I don't know if you remember much about that, Nick. Not much. Mm. Was that the series that Iceman was in as well? Yes, I think he was in yeah. it for a little and bit. Was, yeah, and there was a female one as well who I can't remember. I can't for the life of me remember her name. Oh, okay, yeah, he did have a lot of uh, like sort of team ups in that episode. Yeah. And that. The nineties one, in my opinion, was the my favourite TV show when I was a kid. It was on Live and Kicking and Going yeah, Live and things like that. And uh, yeah, they used to do it in ten minute slots. So you yeah. get 10 minutes of action, and then you'd have to wait another hour or so for the next part. It was really good. But they were devious with that. They made it last. Yeah, they made so, you keep watching. In indeed. Amazing Spider-Man had, of course, the Punisher in it in issue 174. So that was the first one in 1979, I believe. But if I'm wrong, please do quote differently. That Actually... Is that 1974? 1974, yes. This is uh, this is what happens when you can't read your own handwriting. This is very true. Okay, so this is the Punisher top that we picked up, and I'm really pleased with this. It reminds me of like the Magic the Gathering death symbol as well, so that was pretty cool. It looks really good on the camera. It's got a sort of a... A sort of a deathly aspect to it. It's not the traditional Punisher logo. It's like I'm these at. eyes that stare at you. Indeed, yeah. So it reminds me of like the Netflix one that's been going on, and it's similar to that sort of logo. Uh, whereas the one in the original comic books and in the cartoons I'm used to is much more blockier, refined skull that's on there, which is more of an armor. Whereas this is more like a spray paint. So I'm going to pop it on. And we'll see what it looks like on. I actually did pick quite a generous size, because I'm not a small man. So here we go. It's nice and comfortable, actually. Feels really good. Yeah, not too bad. That was weird. But yeah, this is really cool. I like this top. Um, I would definitely say 7 out of 10 for comfortability. And it's going to be nice and warm in these cold times. Yes, now I just look like a stereotypical 90s goth. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I know what's wrong with that. You know, um, a bunch of there's a bunch of kind of like goth bands out there who still do. So this is very true. This is very true. Right now we are going to try awesome Kong Strong. Look at that Kong Strong. You know you can't forget it with a name like that. This is going to be very nice. Yes, it's going to be quite interesting. Now I picked up these for nineteen p. Believe it or not, it's a real steal. For That's me. cheaper than paracetamol. I know it's insane. Yeah, so there was a paracetamol is like the cheapest thing in a supermarket, and I think that's even cheaper than that. Most of paracetamol is about twenty four p. Not a two pence sweet, no. But yeah, <laughs> showing your age there. I know. I don't really do pick a mix. It's his like birthday that, next week. Shh, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> oh, but yes, okay. So yeah, the packaging, Nick. What do you think of the packaging? Uh, that's a di that that monkey does not look happy. He doesn't, does he? Wild power, which is wild black, power, which is really cool. It's power. the sort of thing that would have this ad have this advert of men picking picking up 
hot cars and stuff. Yes, you it know, does remind me of hits. that sort of thing. Like, yes, we can do this. But yeah, it's got like the stereotypical look of a Red Bull-esque energy drink, which is pretty cool. Lots of bubbles. Lots of bubbles as well. It's interesting. Chin chin. Indeed. Let's have a little taster. Yeah, so this was 19p from Lidl. So let me know what you think of that, this one. Yeah, take a generous gulp. It's fine. Let me know what you think. You do get that instant hit, don't you? You know what I mean? It doesn't feel as hard as some of the other ones. No. Because it's got no sugar in it, doesn't it? No, this is true. And a bit of subtext on it. Nick's just been from the gym, so this is actually quite appropriate, really. Help you a little bit. So what do you think? Is it giving you a nice effect? How's it making you feel? I think it's one of those things that releases its energy slowly. So okay. I think what those often do. But then yeah. that's not a bad thing, you know. Release energy slowly, it'll probably last you longer. This is true. I mean, I like the packaging. What do you think, Nick? It's got Kong Strong in very large letters. Mm. It's got a dis it's got an angry looking gorilla. Yeah, so it's obviously like it's energy and power. It's so that's the messages it's trying to convey. Powder blue? I don't know if I'd gone for powder blue. Yeah, powder blue. I mean, the thing is, like, obviously the other one, like the sugar one, is actually bright red. So uh, yeah, obviously so this is a stark contrast with yeah. this one, I think. Which is quite nice. I like it. And I think there's like a building in the background. I don't know if you guys can see it's that on like there. Empire State Building, that yeah, kind of thing? Yeah, so they're obviously referencing uh, sort of like yeah, yeah, the Kong yeah. films. So, honestly, and next, next, guys, we're going to try and do some jelly beans that we did the other day. This was really quite fun. Um, I really enjoyed these, actually. Some of them were really nice and some of them are horrible. I'm just going to go through the flavours again for Nick. Um, you got rotten eggs or cola, ginger or vanilla, blackberry or onion, chilli or cherry, which it wasn't pleasant, pepper or blueberry, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote. So there's like mm. five of each one. Right I'm going out. to let Nick have a spittoon because last time I got the chilli one, I had, was nearly ill. So here we go. I'm going to give it a generous shake. Right and we're going to try one each, okay? To be honest with, to be honest, honest, um, the previous ones I've tried of these, you know, there was one that was vomit flavour. Yeah. So I'm glad there's no vomit flavour. And another one was toothpaste. Toothpaste, which isn't too bad. I think, right, so you've got the white one, which is either going to be ginger or vanilla, which is actually right. all right. Yeah. And I've got pepper or blueberry, so we might do another round. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Hmm. 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 I got the vanilla one, I think. What did you get? Didn't you have a bl blue one? Oh, yeah, no, I did, didn't I? So I got blueberry then. Yeah, it's nice. Mine was definitely ginger. Yours was ginger, but it was quite palatable. Yeah. Palatable, isn't it? You know, See, it's this like is ginger the thing. biscuits. I actually quite like ginger. This is why we're always like, oh no, ginger. You know? That's the alternative flavour. Um, but yeah, the, the onion one's quite gross, I think. Right, let's try uh, another one. I'm glad you warned me. Okay, now I, re now I reckon the, the worst one of the bunch is definitely the red one. So we should definitely try two red ones. Okay. That is definitely the worst one. So this is either chilli or cherry. There's a big difference in this one. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Mm. I've definitely got cherry that time. As did I. Mm. Okay. Right. Try that one then. Was it I think it was another cherry one. Oh, was it another cherry one? Okay. Right, so what? Just in change though, I'm going to try the brown one, which is either going to be rotten eggs or cola. Mmm, cola. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Right. Next, let's have. Can we find a purple one each? Let's see if we can find a purple one each. I'm not sure if there's many of those. That's 
white one. That's a brown one. Oh dear. Is it that one? Maybe. Yes. Right. Let's go with that one. You'll so, know if you get something bad. Trust me. So what onion or blackberry is that? Onion or blackberry. <laughs> onion. Oh. Onion. Blimey, it's sharp as well. I ate mine. <laughs> Brilliant. Rock hard. Of course you are. So what would you think of these then, Nick? What do you think of these? I'm just grateful so none of them taste a freaking vomit. Well, there is My rotten egg. Goodness. Rotten egg. Rotten egg. See, rotten egg, I might deal with that, but vomit, you know. Not so much. Okay, right. well, let's should... move on. Let's try one more and then we'll move on to chatting about right. Roman Reigns. What, what, chan- what, uh, what flavour, what colour are we going to go for this I time? think you should go for, did you try a blue one? No, I didn't. Try a blue one. Right, let's, let's have a blue one each. And then we'll see how we get on. Okay, so this is going to be pepper or blueberry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, got the pepper. Pepper. Got the pepper one. It's not actually too bad. I think mine was pepper as well. That it definitely didn't, didn't taste like blueberry. Yeah. No, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not something you would get like instant gag reflex mm. with. Yeah. But it isn't that pleasant. Right. So bring them along. Um, next time. For next week's on the bench as well. Indeed. So would you try these, Nick? Would you buy these from home? Um. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, just for a bit of fun. Indeed. And next, we are now going to be talking about the wrestling section of the show, which seems to be a bit of a weekly thing at the minute. Yes. And we are going to be talking about Roman Reigns, who this morning had to relinquish the Universal title due to his battle with leukaemia. Yes, very sad. It is very sad. And the thing is, the thing is with Roman Reigns, everyone spent so much time hating on him. I don't mm. know if you know much about that. I, I do remember I do remember vaguely, kind of like he was um yeah the yeah he was he was like all he was like all over the shop. Yeah. A few years back. And he has been very much in the mass media and he's been like toted as the Universal Champion for a long time. He took it from Brock Lesnar. Everyone was pleased about that, but they wanted somebody else to have it. So it's almost now people are getting what they want, but just in a really horrible way. Yeah, not the way. way they wanted at all. Not the way they wanted. Everyone was so upset that obviously he's shoved, been shoved down their throats. Not my words. People mm. have literally used that word because uh, WWE Creative have been talking about it a lot. They've been building up Roman Reigns to be the a next legend in the company. Yeah. And it seems like everything they've done has been pro-Reigns. Mm. And it's almost like now people will understand why they've done that. Because yeah. he's literally uh, obviously been running short on time and they've really wanted him yeah. to have this big push before he became ill again. And sad that uh, he has, you know. Yeah. A big fan of the show and friend of the show and you know her as well Time Bunny Mm. she's a big fan of Roman Reigns and I'm sure she's very upset with all this as well I really hope he makes a speedy recovery he seems to have a really good mindset on it he wants to sort it out and he wants to be able to uh, get um, it over you know he really wants to get over it and come back to the show so I hope he can Yes, I really do hope he can um and I, th- and I think he got, can do it, and I think he's a big star, and I think when he comes back, uh, I think people will see him in a different light. I really do. I'm really looking forward to him coming back. Is there anything else you want to talk about today, Nick? Uh, what else can we talk about? Um, let's talk let's about Halloween again, Nick. Let's talk about Halloween again. Indeed, yeah. So I'm off to the uh, museum, local museum, on Thursday. That should be really nice. I'm really looking forward to that. Get some photos and videos. Get some photos and videos if possible, definitely. Uh, There's a special event for Badger Junior and all the other little ones, so that's going to be really good fun. Uh, Really looking forward to seeing how well everyone does with that. And that's going to be a real hoot. Uh, One thing I will mention, of course, is that we've been recently getting this for Badger Junior, which is like a CBBC magazine, and he has done really well with that. 
and it's really helping him. And uh, props to the CBBC team and, and BBC because they've got a really good head for what actually helps children educate on this one. Mm. Like some of it's really good, like, and it's really helpful. There's games and all sorts of different bits and pieces in there. Like, there's things about Peter Rabbit. There's all sorts of things like how to do spooky stuff as well. Perfect Make for this time of year, perfect for half term. Exactly. So that's really good. I'm really pleased with how Love that's that. getting on. Yeah, good. Um, but that can link into another thing I want to talk about because this was two ninety nine to three ninety nine. Nick. That's... Now, back when we were children, I think you know how much did we pay for magazines? Like eighty five p. It was something like that, but that's that's current. That's kind of like what was eighty five p back then is a completely different sum of money. This this now. is true. Yeah. This is true. But there's a lot of uh, magazines that I enjoyed, like obviously Starburst, uh, lots of ones about science fiction, the horror magazines, the wrestling magazines. I remember when they were two three pounds, which I find is quite you know reasonable mm. for a magazine yeah but now they're like five six pounds it was only the other month i went to buy a pack of free magazines thinking oh that's a you know a good little pack it's going to be a reasonable price they wanted 20 pounds for free magazines nick exactly what is that all about did, it come, did it come with like lots of free gifts nope just three magazines lame Exactly, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what the heck's going on here? Yeah. So it was way too expensive for what it is. And I think that's the problem with the magazines now, is that obviously with all the internet that's booming, surely they need to lower their prices, not hike them up. But I'm not a businessman when it comes to things like that. But I would definitely think that'd be a better way to do it rather than uh, make it higher. What do you think, it's, Nick? It's, it's difficult. I think, I mean, the thing, the thing is, it's like, um, I mean, the reason that we still have magazines is that people like to read them at their leisure, mm. you know, it's, and they can go in, they can, magazines can go in, can have more in-depth stories. This is true. Than a, Just an internet than blurb. an internet page, mm. you know, an internet page full stop wouldn't have, wouldn't have kind of like really long articles because people just wouldn't read them. This is so very true. This is true you know, because the whole internet culture is surf and skip. Yeah. Whereas I think if you sit down with a magazine, you want to be involved and you want to read it. Yeah. And I think you get invested in it similar as books. Yeah. So I think that's, that's, that's what they're going for with, with, um, with those, you know, it's a bit like um, it's a bit like with newspapers. You know, mm. you might find that you're that uh, that they can go into more detail, not with the current news stories, That's but right. more with the features that they have in them. Oh, they can, okay. tend to go into they tend to go into more detail there. So That's very interesting, and obviously, I think mainly one of the reasons why it probably has gone up is that you need editors, you need people to make all the different artwork and things yeah. like that. That's probably a way I would justify it. But yeah. I just think the amount that they're paying out is, in, you know, they expect yeah. you to pay is insane. It's, but yeah, you know, I mean, you've got to have, every article has to be proofread. Mm. It has to be, you've got your editors and sub-editors. That's right, yeah. So, yeah, there's, there, is a, there is a lot to it. You know, it's, I, I it's just, just think they need to find a middle involved. ground. Yeah. You know, I can't see, I can't justify paying like 6 99 for see, a magazine. This is kind of what I think, because I, because I think, the, the thing is, a lot of magazines and a lot of newspapers mm. are too long. Yeah. They have too many pages, mm. you know. And the thing is, they have to try and fill those pages this is with true. as much as they can. Yes. You know, and it's almost, it's almost too... They've almost got like too many pages to fill. That's right. That's what I like about things like the Metro. It's shorter. It's, you know, you know, it's concise. on fewer pages. It's concise. And free. And you can get that. And yeah, I mean, and yeah, you know, I mean, I just, when you think about all, I mean, news, newspapers, they, you know, they they print like sensational, sensational stories, you know, mm. and exaggerate things. Yes. And, you know, just in this, just in this like attempt Like the Daily to, Star and the Sun. Oh, all too right. And it has they, a reading age over the age of six, I believe. Yeah, and it's, and, yeah, you know, it's almost like they've, you know, it's, it's, yeah, I just think it's too long. I think n what newspapers should ideally do is, I think they need to be, I think they need, they need to try and bring down the number of pages that they have. Right, and just okay. Try not, 
just try not just try not to you know rather than having all these pages to fill every single day right. you know and, yeah and make and, it easy and concise yeah and, and also you know the journos might find that easier as well exactly you know? and you know what I would like some good news in them mm. and that brings us up to the end of the show and the good news is Thank you, everyone that supported me and Nick on the show. Thank you, Absolutely. guys. And a big shout-out to everyone that stayed here for 1,500. You guys are awesome. I remember, you know, setting up this channel about five years ago and wondering what would happen, and there's no way would I ever think that we'd get to 1,500. So yeah. Thank from, you very much. From such humble beginnings, look where we are now. Indeed. So thank so, yeah. you very much, guys. And a big shout out to Nick for joining me oh, with these more than vlogs. Welcome as always. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome, matey. Don't forget that you can catch me every Wednesday on phoenixfm.com at 8 p.m. So um, that's a so yeah, we're on uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow at 8 p.m. And right. there's going to be a special Halloween show on, on the 31st as well. I'm going to be joined by a local singer songwriter called Karai. Um, I think I've heard of him. Have he's, I he's been on the show a few times. He's doing a countdown at the moment on uh, on his social media pages, um, counting down to his appearance on the show. So look That's up, awesome. Look up Karai, K-O-R-A-Y. Yeah. Um, I know his Facebook page is Black Arrow 13. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, so look, him, so look him up. So he'll be doing that. And... Hopefully, very so hopefully, very soon. Possibly on tomorrow night's show, if I can, if I can pin him down long ah! enough, uh, we'll have an interview with His Majesty. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. Thank you, Nick. And of course, we're going to round this up by letting us know what you thought of Kong Strong. Let me know. Let's do that again because it missed the logo. There we go. Let us know what you think of Kong Strong. Kong Strong. Let us know what you think about the jelly beans. Don't forget to bring them in next week. We'll do more of them next week. Let us know what you think about the Punisher top. Would you buy this top? It was $14.99. And its fabric is very smooth, I have to say. Personally, think it was a good buy. And let us know what you think about poor Roman Reigns and his battle to come back to good. the company. Good so luck to you, Roman. Keep indeed. fighting the good fight. Indeed. Good luck to you, Roman. And let us know what your favourite comic book hero was back when you were a kid too. And did you used to watch Live and Kicking? And once again, thank you for 1,500, and we'll see you next time. We're going to have to go and be sucked into this abyss. The abyss. Us. Guys, Oxen Free tonight, about half past six. See you there. Bye. <laughs>